Hey guys, it's Lee, and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm also going to have a little bit of a walkthrough at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so if you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, you'll know that I was looking for these. I saw Theoni over at Thrifty Divas haul them, and my store didn't have them. They had a different type. Anyway, I did find the parchment paper pop-up sheets that Theoni found. There are 25 in each pack and they are 15 inches by 10 and 3 quarters inches and these are great. It says for baking but I like to put them down whenever I'm using a cookie sheet for anything. It makes cleanup so easy. So I went ahead and grabbed four of these. Uh, who are they by? I guess they're by the company Durable? I don't know for sure. It says AIB International and it's made in the USA. So I don't think they're green bright product. So grab them if you see them because they may not have them. At, they may not have them again. All right, I just went and checked because I thought it looked familiar. These patty paper squares that I bought a long time ago are by the same company. I haven't even opened this pack yet, but just wanted to let you know. Next, I found these Skunsi Elastics. There are 14 pieces and it says no slip grip, strong hold. And these are not your typical elastics. They are like, they're just rubber. Yep, they just feel like rubber. They don't feel like the fabric coated rubber like you normally get. So I picked up three of these. I'm gonna see if my daughter can use them. I'll try them in my hair. My hair is very slippery though, so these might work well. Ponytails and things just slide right out of my thin, fine hair. So we'll see. If I don't like them, I know my daughter will use them. I picked up these two pairs of brown socks, one for my husband and one for my son. They're nice and thick, so I hope they will like them. I'm sure they will. They're not super picky about them. And then I got these for me and my daughter. These are boot socks and it's, you know, boot weather's coming up, so so they're good to have on hand. So for her, I picked up this darker purple pair. They're, they're really uh, thick and squishy. I got her this lighter purple pair. These are, they, they feel really nice. I hope they hold up when they're washed. I got myself this blue pair and the pink pair for me. Now what I was a little disappointed in was that they didn't have brown and gray and those sorts of colors for women. They only had these jewel tones, which are nice, but I would have liked, you know, like the brown ones and gray ones as well, but it's fine. I'll wear the colorful ones. Next, I found these jumbo wall stickers and I love blue. Blue and white is like my favorite, like blue willow china, that kind of stuff. I love it. Not 100% sure where I'm going to put these yet, but I was afraid that if I didn't pick them up, when I went back to get them, once I figure out what I want to do with them, you know, I go back, they'll be gone. So I grabbed two. I wanted to buy more, but I didn't go crazy. I just got two. So this haul is a little bit all over the place. I'm just picking up random things. But next I picked up more of these Westcott scissors. These are titanium bonded scissors. And I'm trying to figure out how big they are. Does it say? Oh, right, my hand was on top. Seven inches for these. And I grabbed, I really like these scissors. And I grabbed one more of the all-purpose tiny ones. These are five inches. And it says they're good for light fabrics and ribbon and thread. That one didn't really say. These didn't really say, but you know what they do say? That they are left or right-handed scissors, which is kind of cool. All right. The next two items I picked up for a friend, and I hope she's watching, and I hope she can figure out who she is when I show these to her. Um, so I found this notebook with an H on it. I think it is super pretty. I like the swirls. It's purple and pink and green, and it has a an H with like a prism effect. It's silver, and these are by Crown Jewels, who doesn't usually put how many pages? No. Anyway. It's just a little lined notebook, so I got that for my friend. And I also picked up these sticky notes in the shape of an H. Also by Crown Jewels. And does it say how many are on here? Yeah, 70 sheets. 
I grabbed this flavor injector by Cooking Concepts for Thanksgiving. I've never injected flavor into the turkey, but I thought I would give it a try this year. I usually just put, I have olive oil, butter, various seasonings, usually onion, garlic, actual onion and garlic, and pulverize it with pepper and poultry seasoning and sage and all that stuff. And then I just put it under the skin, but this year I'm going to inject it in. Next, I just picked up a new dish brush because I needed it. I found more of the Desange Paris products. This time I find, found Cara California Blonde Illuminating System Elixir with pearlescent extract. And this is a leave-in treatment for color-treated and natural blondes. And I am a color-treated blonde. So I grabbed three of these. I found the red package or reddish package or pink, I can't remember, for just color treated hair in my last haul and this time I found the California Blonde. Next I found the new Bolero Scents and after I show you the things I bought I will have a video showing you all the items that are available but I just picked up the Vanilla Sugar and Raspberry Facial Wipes and four of the foot masks in the vanilla sugar and raspberry. The other scent they had, I did not like. It had rose in it. So the last thing I found, I was super excited to find. Even though I don't have any little children around, I can find homes for these. I found this 2T Never Grow Up shirt, and it is a children's place shirt, and it was $9.50 originally. Then I found this little girl shirt in extra large, also children's place, that says two snaps and a twist, and it's this pretty aqua color. This one was $10.50. And lastly, I found this large short sleeve shirt that says girls are the future, and it has camo and roses. Also, this retailed for $10.50. Now I'm going to quickly show you the items I saw in the store but didn't need and I will meet you right back here. So that's everything I got this time around at the Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, 
and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.